Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 No Guns. Last time we went to Concord and we were able to beat up a Death Lord despite not having any power armor or any guns or pretty much anything at all, thanks to some rather interesting definitions of how collision detection ought to work. And today, well, today we're going to start off by heading to Ten Pines Bluff, because there's a couple of early game quests which it's very easy to complete very, very quickly that will net me a nice little pile of experience in order that I can kind of level up and get some very important perks. Because right now, I'm very, very flimsy. I need to get my damage up. I've made some nice weapons here. You'll see him holding a little kind of pole axe there. I basically tied a knife to the end of a pool cue and pretended I was cool. So yes, that's a pretty good starting point at least. Right now, I can't really afford to get involved in too many overt fights because I will just be slaughtered. So I need to do a lot of sneaking, a lot of stabbing. Blitz is going to help with that a lot, the perk that I've picked up. But uh, yes, we'll need, still need to be very, very careful indeed. Oh, and I think we might be coming up on Glitch Quarry. Is Glitch Quarry still going to be glitched? Or, by any chance, has it been fixed by this point? I don't know. That still looks pretty broken to me. I think right now the first big patch Fallout 4 is optional opt-in. I haven't actually chosen to opt-in yet, so uh, that's probably why. Though I did admittedly, I completely missed. This is Garrus Vicarian. I totally missed that on my first playthrough. Hello, Sully Mathis. <clears throat> Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done talking, you know. Oh, bless you. Do you need anything calibrating? Because I could totally do that for you. But no, I think I'll leave him for now and head straight on up to Ten Pines Bluff. Because Ten Pines Bluff not only has the first settlement that Preston asked me to look at, it's got something else quite important in it, which is a whole bloody load of crops. And I need a whole bloody load of crops because, indeed, that is what I need to get, uh, to get Sanctuary properly set up as well. Ooh. Big old dish in that direction, though. I don't know what that is in that direction. Now I'm curious. It's the danger of playing Fallout. I can never resist. I can never resist a building that I don't know what it is. We've got... Oh, it's just basic mole rats. If it's just mole rats, we should be fine. Yeah, okay. Hi, guys! What? Whoa, whoa! What? Okay. Let's try that again. Ah, but on the edge of Concord... On this second go, I've actually just found some wild, uh, well, okay, okay, dispute here. People have been telling me that even though it's spelled M-U-T and thus the logical presentation would be mutt fruit, they're saying it's mute fruit because it's mute fruit as in mute ant, which I guess kind of makes sense, but I'm still not 100% on that. I'm not 100% on that at all. I feel like it's mutt. As in, like, a mongrel. A mongrel dog. Oh, hello. You're a mole rat. What are you attacking? You're attacking something. Let's go in and investigate. Hello. Excuse me. We'll just kill these two mole rats. Nice and quick. Yep. Oh, the Polacks make short work of them. Right, and then get down and figure out what state we're in. Oh, hello. We've got problems here. Uh, kill that mole rat. I think dog beats on the other. What's my... Oh, I think I'm under fire at the minute. From what? Something shooting at me. I swear I just heard bullets cracking in the distance, but... We seem to be alright. Alright, let's loot the meat off these guys then. Oh, we've even stumbled across a random bloke out here. Bobby Pin Box! Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> oh, glorious, glorious day! Oh, and a Snub Nose 44. If I, were, if I cared about guns, that'd be actually quite powerful. That's useful. So up on this cliff, like pretty damn close to Sanctuary, Snubnosed 44. That's a pretty powerful gun. That's Vacuum Steel Char. I don't know, you even get that open then. Right, that's actually quite useful to come out this way and find that guy who killed himself with a... He went a bit overkill on the killing himself. He could have killed himself with something. Wait, oh, Raider. Raider. Ooh. Ooh. Caution. Caution, but not danger. But now, now, okay, hang on. No, no, no. Oh, flip. How many are there? Well, you know what? We can kill you with a couple of swings, and then we can reevaluate how many of the others there are. We'll just take out a couple of raiders. Uh, where are? Oh, hello. Where are you? Right. In, 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 and then we can just knacky you with a couple of hits because of blitz. We can really vat you from some distance away. That's the second one dead. Then we just back away. We use vats to identify where the next one is. That's one attack dog. One raider. We'll take some cover behind the thing. Oh, hello. Dog meat. Are you, have you won? Dog meat's won and he's drawing the fire. And we'll just get ourselves 
one attack here. And then a... There we are. Good. He, she went for the dog, not for me. Which is good. Dog meat, thank you for tanking on my behalf. Gets me two stim packs. Lovely. Now, this time, we're approaching the satellite array from the other side. We've also come across a little crashed vertebrate here. I think I remember someone mentioning this to me. Saying that they thought it was, like, something important for some reasons. So we've got Radex and Baby Rattle. The value of hidden is changing. So something's around here, and I can see movement up top there. But I can't for the life of me see what it is that's actually moving. It's probably raiders. And given I exploded last time, it's quite possibly raiders with a... Oh! You're just a... Yeah, you're just a ragstar. Okay, no, no, it's fine. We're friends. Oh! Get after it! Get after it! Get after it! Yeah, blitz in there! Blitz in there and kill it! And ooh, got ourselves a nice set of power armor over here. T45, pretty basic. Does it have its own fusion core? Because if it doesn't, I can't use it. Because, well, I can use it. But um, as happened with the one that ran out of juice last time, I believe I could, the only thing I can do in this thing is I can very slowly crawl around. Yeah, no power left. Well, that's another useful one to know, at least. If you happen to pick up the fusion core that's down in the tunnels underneath Red Rocky, you could then put that into, uh... Yeah, you could pop that straight into that their bit of power armor, and you could arrive in Concord with power armor already, uh, to hand, which could be very, very useful indeed. Now, the question is, ah, that is indeed a raider, and I'm guessing it's a raider with a missile launcher. Now, as a result of that, I might just go over to my serrated switchblade... The question is, am I able to sneak up on this raid? If I let it... If I let that raid go over there, I might be able to sneak around that wild carrot flower. Oh, does carrot flower, can I grow that straight into carrots? That might be useful. I have no idea how many raiders we're dealing with here. If it's just that... Oh, oh, what? Danger. Danger from who? From who? who who's shooting at me? Oh. You, I'm guessing I can't blitz the distance. You, I'm guessing I can't... Split some distance. I just jumped over this dam. I just jumped over that damn thing by myself. That's pretty good. And right, charge up, 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 charge up. Oh yes, yes. You stab him in the face. There we are. Just stab him. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really powerful, actually. That little serrated switchblade. That murdered him. Now, are you going to come to me? You're. There's one down. There's one downstairs who's about to come around the corner. We'll vats him as soon as he does. There we are. He's, is he actually downstairs or is he just... Dog meat warning growl. Oh, where is he? Is he actually on the thing? No, he's right downstairs. There's another one right upstairs I can get first, I think. So Molotov cocktail, stim pack. That's, that's a good point. Healing's damn slow. We may as well get some healing going at least. We're back to hidden at the moment. And then we've got... Oh, I think dog meat might have killed the only one that was left. And then we've got... Oh, there's mole rats down there. Those are just basic mole rats. So who blew me up last time? Were there just maybe mines or something? Well, whatever happened here, this guy's dead now. And he only had, yeah, he only had a, um, only had a assault shotgun. But I am picking up molotovs. Molotovs and obviously grenades are my only way of dealing damage at range. And grenades bounce. Molotovs um, break on impact. So molotovs are actually, to me, incredibly useful. So I need to potentially be using more of them. Got a bed there, which is very, very useful indeed too. Hello! <laughs> And you can... Oh! I mean, I've seen mole rats with mines strapped to them before. I didn't realise that was a, a common thing, but... Well, alright. There seems to be just one explosive mole rat. Maybe that was like the pet mole rat of the raiders and... Something, I'm not sure. Well, take an hour's nap to get my health back. And then I noticed there's actually more to here. There's a door at the back. Alright, you got me interested, game. So we've got... Something. Ooh, laser trip wires. That's a bit more advanced than I'd expect from a radar. Right, disable those for some free fiber optics. Right, we've got a thing here. A guard tone. Oh, I can't access that. That's advanced. So don't have a chance with that yet. And I never will because I don't have the intelligence to learn hacking. So that's interesting. The security gate requires a terminal. So I also definitely can't open that because there's no way to unlock it or get a key or anything. What the? Caution. Dog. We might have raiders coming in here. We've got what do we have here? Where are we? I mean, I'm assuming that's just a couple of raiders. If it's just a couple of raiders, we can just get in and knife them. Which is fine. Oh! Raider, raider, raider. Get behind her, knife her in the back. Oh! There we go. Yes! Get in. 
Get in. Is that a, Was that a... I don't think that was a sneak attack, but it's good enough. Just warp in there and take him out. Who, who else is left? There's several above, at least a couple of them. Molotov cocktail, stim packs, beautiful. Time's up, says someone. Oh, there we are. You, I'll get you. They're running for the dog. And this knife is really powerful, but I get a lot of shots and vats with it. Just stab everyone in the chest with it, and they're going for me as well. Oh, something, something really bad is shooting at me. Oh, I've walked into a, I've walked into a turret. That'll be the end of that then. Fine. All right, let's try this again. It's important to learn how this all fits together. It's important to learn how all of the pieces fit together, like how you can use stealthing to your advantage. So I've just got to stealth around these guys. Oh, caution, but not danger. Oh, uh oh. I'm guessing that's not good enough. And then she's going to lose her head. But am I now in danger permanently? Or is picking them off one by one by... No, we're still in caution. Not in... Oh! There we are. And then stab you. As long as you stay in caution... That was a sneak attack. So you just tackle forward and knife him right in the neck. As long as you just charge forward. And then... Oh, that's an attack dog. But he'll be dead too. Beautiful. That's... Oh, and he's... <laughs> Corpses are freaking the hell out there. And we're still technically in hidden now. We're not even in caution because they didn't get to fire. You jump forward, you take the tackle, you knife them before they fire, and you are still in good shape. That is good. All right, that, that's how you do it. You need to be... This has become a proper stealth game when you're playing by this rule set and this difficulty. That's brilliant. So with those three up top dealt with, I'm probably now safe to loop back round down to the bottom. Okay. Okay, we got this. We know how this works now. Now, what I'm curious about, actually, is whether Blitz lets you teleport up to high ledges if it's not actually that far in terms of, like, you know, if it's not vertically that far, whether you'd be allowed to just teleport around like that. Got to be careful. I know there's at least a couple more people around here. In there. Oh, one person over there. And gets stabbed in the back before he knows... Oh, that makes you feel like a badass. That makes you feel like a proper badass. Someone just becomes like a little bit aware of you. You just get in behind and just stab them in the spine before they have any idea what's going on. That is pretty good. Now, got to be careful over here. There's probably at least two and that... Uh, yeah, there's at least two and that uh, turret around the corner here. So I say... Molotov around the corner. And a second... There we are. That'll get them nice and injured. Back off for a second. No need to let them locate me. We've tossed a couple of Molotovs into a very good location. Akak. Oh, we've got oh, we've got a named person here. Never have never enjoy a named person. Named people always cause trouble. Now are any of them going this way? Oh, we might be able to get a knife into the back of one of you. Oh darn it, we almost had a chance to get a knife into that one at the back there. Actually, we probably still can. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes, yes, just nail the named character. Nail the named character. And then through the room to the left of me and out. All right, just go, 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 just go. That's lost me a bit of health. But Akak, take the fusion core as well. Whoever Akak is, is, and if we can just get back into caution. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, you've picked up her gun. Right. Round the corner. Knife him in the throat before he can fire. Knife him in the throat and he drops the minigun as well. Right. Don't want raiders with miniguns. And we're back to... Oh, this is so fun. 500 rounds. Beautiful. A big fat minigun. That's nice. Oh, welded. Welded uh, raider. Actually, it doesn't say it's any better. Uh, so it's probably not very good. Military grade circuit boards. Packs of cigarettes. We're getting the good stuff here. Ooh, terminals. It's possible this could let me turn off some of the stuff. Nope, sadly, all of this stuff is broken. Fine. Ah, oh, bobby pins. I've actually finally got some bloody bobby pins. Beautiful. And that lets me unlock this here door, though I'm suspicious of the fact there's something behind the locked door because of the whole small problem of the hidden things are wibbling. There it goes. And... What's in here? One rad roach that's currently listed as neutral... More rad roaches listed as neutral. More, yeah, more neutral rad roaches. We'll just kind of zoom between them 
stabbing them all. And that gets me in this here instrument case, the Intel room key. Seven more bobby pins and some duct tape. Those are all very good things. I'm not sure where the bloody uh, the Intel room is. I could have sworn I saw one door that was securely locked, but it specifically said in it you can only open it with a terminal. Or maybe only with a terminal or a key that they just hadn't announced existed yet. Alright, I think we're pretty safe here now. So, now got to see if that's their key when I open the door upstairs or if there's any other doors around here. Well, I can't see any of the door it could refer to. Yeah, unlock with the Intel room key. Somewhere. Beautiful. Terminal's got to be somewhere, she says. Apparently missing the fact that the door just opened. Right, hopefully we'll get some good loot out of here. More Molotov cocktail. A safe. Safes are really odd in this game. Like, safes inventory seems to be basically entirely randomly generated or locationally generated. It doesn't seem to have any relation to how difficult the safe is. So a novice safe can contain exactly the same stuff as a master level safe. Like... That's pretty good. And I'd like if I opened a mass level safe, I wouldn't necessarily expect anything better than that, to be honest. US Covert Operations Manual. Beautiful. So permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Perfect. Never seen that one before. Tiptoe through the tulips. Nice. One free mini nuke as well. Couple of bottles of nuke cola. Quite valuable. And one big trunk. Always useful. So 308 ammo. 38. Fragmentation. Fragmentation mine. My first mine. Another pipe bolt action rifle. Very good indeed. That'll be worth something to sell next time we run into an actual trader. And when I say next time, I mean first time you run into a trader. Because you can go a very long time in this game. Not actually finding anyone who's willing to buy your bloody stuff. Alright, that was fun. That was a fun introduction to how combat is going to have to work in this game. It's going to be proper sneaky tactical. And I suspect, unfortunately, dog me, that means... Generally, when we go into interior areas, I'm just going to have to leave you at the door and then pick you up on the way out. <laughs> also, the name Bacon just came up on screen again. That's never going to stop being funny. Now, with that done and my new discovery that this knife is bloody amazing, we can head on to Tempines Bluff, which looks like it's very close by. Haven't run into a legendary yet. I don't know how common legendaries are going to be, but I'm guessing at least somewhat common. Given uh, they do say high difficulties, you're going to run into legendaries. That's the entire bloody point. Hello, I'm going to put my knife away before I speak to you because I know you're a bit jittery. Look, look, no knife. No knife. I don't even have a gun. Hi, what do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm totally... Ooh, sarcastic. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen... Would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. So, we obviously, we know what these guys give us. These guys give us the Corvega assembly plant, which will be very, very interesting. But while I'm passing through a settlement, I can convert all that meat I've been gathering into something useful. So, the uh, the grilled radstag. Ooh, plus 25 carry weight for an hour. That's quite good. And I've also got a whole bunch of mole rat chunks. And what's this one? Oh, mongrel dog meat. Mutt. Oh, mutt chops rather than mutton chops. Very clever. So 40 hit points a uh, piece. That's actually not even that bad, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's well worth having. And then the mole rat chunks, obviously. Mole rat chunks, again, pretty damn good. 50 hit points restored and plus 5 AP. Mole rat chunks are really quite useful. This is why it's useful just going and hunting flipping mole rats. Because they are going to give you some of the some really good healing items. For early game especially, if stim packs are in short supply. Those healing items are damn impressive. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to steal all of your produce. Because I need to plant some of this back at Sanctuary Hills. Beautiful. So, back to Sanctuary and usual rules apply. Get yourself a quick bit of sleep before you're ready to turn in the quest. And they may claim that man cannot live on melons alone, but we're going to give it a damn good try. And it looks like uh, Marcy, who is working the fields, has automatically picked up the food that's in her area. Because she is now, well, the food's gone up to six, so presumably she's like auto-assigned herself. So that's useful. And with those crops planted, that should this be the end of this. Do you like the trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Already built some turrets at the front door, thank you. And that there's Sanctuary completed and a big little dump of experience points. Lovely. And that brings us up to level 6. So, next level I'll obviously be taking the next rank of Big Leagues that comes open at level 7. Uh, when's the next level of Blacksmith? Not for quite a long time. Armour 1 could be tempting, but equally... Uh, sneak 2 is already available, and arguably I think that's more powerful. But Sneak also, in order to work better, 
needs to, yeah, get together with flipping ninja. Ninja's flipping powerful. You know what? I'll take a rank of ninja now. I'd say a rank of ninja. I mean, ninja and blitz together. That's insane if you think about it. Because, like, I can be quite some distance from an enemy. I can just go into Vats, teleport to him, stab him in the neck, and do 4x damage if I'm even still in caution as long as he didn't see me and go into danger. I mean, that's a crazy amount of damage. That could be so powerful. And then within two turns, I can have big leagues and flipping sneak of two ranks. That will do me very, very well indeed. That will be really powerful. I also think I probably should have just switched straight over to the serrated uh, the serrated knife long ago. Because that's 30 damage, but fast versus 34 damage for the pool queue, but slow. So in DPS, it's way better. Plus, like, I think you get, like, twice as many swings in VATS with the uh, the combat knife as you do with the pool queue. Plus, the, the combat knife is easier to use in combat because it's, like, it's a little kind of forward power attack is a thrust. As opposed to the pool queue, which is the big swing. Which looks badass, but potentially means it's quite difficult to time when you need to hit your opponents. And while I'm here, let's have a look see if I can do anything with my armour to make myself a little bit more resistant. Because I am flimsy at the moment. So with a tiny bit of rubber leather and adhesive, I can make my energy resistance high. But honestly, I'm not really worried about being shot by energy weapons yet. Better I focus on maybe improving some of these pieces. For now, I'll just slightly improve on the uh, the leather chest pieces I've got. Honestly, it feels like armory, you need to invest in it quite heavily to get anything good. Like, anything desperately useful is like rank 2 or above. So I'm not going to worry about prioritizing armor right now. I think it's going to take me a little while before I get to that. And I'll get some insulated lining. Sure, why not? We'll just slightly improve my Vault 101 jumpsuit. So if I do run into any, like, synths or something, at least I'll have a little bit of energy resistance. One other thing I will do, however, is I believe, and I can't remember... One of these two bodies of water was Walden Pond, and that had a unique wrench there, which could potentially be quite useful. So I'm going to head on my way and see if I can find that unique wrench. It was like, what was it? Big Jim's wrench or something. I cannot remember what benefit it had on it, but a unique weapon is probably better than anything I'm carrying at the minute. So it could be very worth seeking out. Oh, we've just stumbled into our first super mutant here. And, oh, uh, flip. And some more mongrels behind me, I believe, too. Right, mutant. Ooh, something's already hurt that mutant hound. What is it? Uh, what the heck? Oh, um, I'm guessing dog meat's already on the mutant. You're dead, right? Where are you? Where, where's the mutant gone? There's a mutant somewhere around here. Who is he? What's got him? Oh, it is dog meat. Yep, fine. Yo, we'll just stab you in the face a little bit. We've got enough. And this will get my... I mean, like, the advantage to a fast weapon so you get lots of VATS hits in is it gets your critical meter up faster. So even though I've got almost no luck, I can do critical stuff very quickly. Ah, my light meter's good. Board. How powerful is that? I've no clue. Board. 30, but 30 when not actually upgraded. That could be a powerful slow weapon to replace the pool queue if I can do something to that. So, uh, yeah, next time we head back to Sanctuary, I might well use that and we'll have a little look, see if we can do anything there. Now, is this the house I'm thinking it might be here? Now, I'm loving actually how this uh, this build handles uh, bloatflies, which is... See that bloatfly over there? I'm just going to stab it in the face now. Now it's dead. 95% accuracy to hit any bloatfly because I just teleport to them and stab them in the face. Oh, Blitz is amazing. I'm loving Blitz. Blitz is a thing of beauty. Now, is this the house I think it is? I suspect that this house, if this has got a little basement, is... No, I thought this was the house with the bloke in front of the um, the pylon. But it would appear... Not... Oh, it might be, though. Perfect. Wasteland Survival Guide. Oh, there is a Wasteland Survival Guide, but not the one I was expecting. Permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. Self-defense secrets. Oh, the Wasteland Survival Guide appears to have been turned into a bunch of issues. That's nice. Yeah, I thought this was um, the place with the guy who was building his own nuke. In the basement, but it would appear not. Ooh, Runaway's holotape. Hello, we've stumbled across a plot. October 22nd, 2077. I finally told them tonight, and it was bad. Real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed, that, that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word, not even when I packed my things. 
I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I, I wouldn't have a place to sleep. Just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? Wicked shipping fleet lockup. Uh, locations like this, I'm guessing, is going to be ghouls. Should be able to verify that pretty quickly because there'll be just there'll just be one lying on the ground. I don't see it. Ghouls shouldn't be too much problem actually because melee weapons seem to be pretty good against things that don't have damage resistance. And this, yeah. Now the question is actually, can I get over and stab a ghoul? Before, although actually, is this going to be... If this is novice... Yeah, novice. I'll just crack this open. Beautiful. So, personality mode. I see no reason to ever go for anything other than law enforcement. Law enforcement seems to be excellent. That should provide me with some nice cover. Can I hit them before they even get up? Using the... With the benefit of, like, the increased range from Blitz. I don't know. I need to find one on the ground to test that theory. Because that's a really interesting theory. Uh, whether you can actually get in and stab... A ghoul before it even stands. Uh, there'll be definitely be some in this here building. This hopefully this small shed might contain one if I'm lucky. That might be useful. Or actually, if they while they're getting out of the place they're hiding in. Oh yeah, look at this. Dead before they get up. When they're getting up or they're getting out of their they're getting out of their little container that they hide in. They're not yet deemed to be active and they can't have seen you yet. That's very powerful. Lovely. Now, there's definitely going to be some in here. But I'm going to get to them. That's the thing. I'm going to stab them before they even know what's going on. Oh, can I stab you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stab him before he sees me. Get close enough to stab him before he sees me. Now, is that still deemed? Yeah, that's a sneak attack. While they're getting out of the case, that's still deemed a sneak attack. I Meaning I can teleport to them. Beautiful. There's something in there, which I kind of want to just go and see what it is quickly. I'm just going to run past. Get yourself just a teddy bear, some blocks. And then what are you? You're a feral ghoul reaver. Ooh, with some ultra jet. That could be useful. I think that's presumably just a, a longer period. Yeah, that's presumably just a longer period of uh, the bullet time, which is very, very useful. Now that down there looks like a bigger body of water than I was expecting to see for Walden Pond. So maybe it's this one over here. I genuinely don't know because I haven't found the note telling me yet. And I don't like looking it up. I like just kind of having to explore. I mean, even if I can't find it, I don't remember where it is. I'm still going in the right direction to take me down ultimately towards um, the Corvega plant, which is my ultimate destination. Because I'd like to just pass through Lexington and Corvega to see just how powerful the sneaky, stabby thing can be. Oh, we've got a bridge dam thing here. I think I recognize this. This here's got super mutants at the end of it. Don't really want to be tangling with super mutants yet. I'm a little bit flimsy for that. Don't have the armor for it. So I'm going to stick away from the super mutants at the far end there. And head down. Because I'm pretty sure that over there is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw Corvega showing up in this direction anyway. So we're already going in the right direction here. So I think we're absolutely fine. And this might be Walden Pond down at the lower end of this here little dam anyway. That looks more like it. In fact, this looks about right. Looking at this down here, the two buildings over there, the highway nearby, this looks how I remember the approach to Walden Pond being. Yes, Walden Pond, beautiful. Now, I also remember there was, actually a synth happened to spawn here uh, when I was last here, but that might well have been random. Also, there was a super mutant behemoth that spawned here. Him, I'm not even going to think about. Him, if he shows up, I'm just going to completely ignore him. And there was also, the entrance was down through a pipe down here. No sign of any trouble. The brackets around hidden appear to be stable. I think we're in good shape. Now, dog meat, you stay here. I'll come back and get you in a second. We should run into a couple of raiders up ahead. We should just be able to zoom over and stab them both in the face. Oh, tweeze. Oh, oh, there he is. Come on, sneak up behind him, sneak up behind him, sneak up behind him, sneak up behind him, sneak up behind him. There we are. Tweeze. And the other one. The other one's both also in range. Stabbed. St oh, look at that. Double assassination. Oh, that's so beautiful. They didn't even get to say their little comedy bit about Walden. And there's still someone around these corners here. 
Where are they? They're close. I think it might be two or three. I might just be able to take them, to be honest. You know what? We've got a clean shot at Walter, who's one of the name characters. Stabbed him. Yeah, we've got pretty much full action points and a critical ready to go. Where's the other one? We've got Whiplash here. I'll take the critical on him just to make sure he goes down. There might be one more, but I've got a few action points. Nope, we're good. That was the four of them. Lovely. And that would also get me my first hunting rifle. Also get a bottle cap mine from that. That's good. And a lunchbox that explodes and provides me with a baseball. Very good. But the reason I was actually here, Big Jim. Nice. Big Jim. 28 damage, 20% chance to cripple target's leg. Uh, 28's not great for a medium weapon, but I may well be able to upgrade it yet. We shall have to see. So as I was hoping, going to Walden Pond has brought me actually quite close to the area around Corvega and Lexington, this sort of area. So I can sweep into there. But first, I'm going to go and quickly check out those new weapons I've picked up. See if I can improve any of them to make them super awesome. So, new stuff. Big Jim. Big Jim can be improved immediately to 34... 41 or 41 puncturing. Ooh. I also find that you get hooked Big Jim. <laughs> Flipping heavy Big Jim with a little kind of... Ooh, that's crikey. Um, extra limb damage, superior damage. And armor piercing, superior damage. You gotta say, that, seem, that feels like the better one to me. Plus, it means I uh, don't need to spend any screws. Excellent. So, Big Jim at 41 damage and armor piercing. That's pretty damn brutal. I mean, the only thing... Extra limb damage doesn't feel that useful to me. So I'd rather have the um, the armor piercing. And that one's just not as strong. Though I actually think, aesthetically, I'd prefer it to have a massive hook. Instead, we'll just turn it into this kind of horrendous axe ice pick type of thing. Lovely. Now, the board. This is an interesting one. The board is at 30, but can go up to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Uh, this is lovely as well. So, spiked board armor piercing up to 36 damage, puncturing armor piercing superior damage, or bladed target bleeds exceptional damage. 51 damage plus bleed damage. I mean, even though puncturing is armor piercing, I would have thought like an extra 6 damage made it worthwhile anyway, really. So, yeah, I will take this as a bladed board. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. And with that, I think we can get rid of my sharp pool cue, which I'm going to keep in this toolbox. Because I'm going to keep all of my weapons in this small toolbox next to the weapon bench. Because it's convenient, and it also amuses me to think that I'm basically going to fill that thing up with huge numbers of weapons. And uh, we can also have Marcy here, blatantly just pretending to do some work when she's doing literally nothing of any use. Well done, Marcy. Oh, blimey. Um, I just had a nap to wait until morning, and I woke up next to Marcy Long. So we probably shouldn't tell her husband that, because... He's, he's over there in the shack, but she decided to come and sleep with... All right, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm open-minded about this. Bacon bacon swings both ways if you know what... I don't know what I mean. I'm not sure what that even means. So just for a bit, I'm going to carry around Big Jim, I think. I'm just going to kind of take that around. And we'll see what we run into. Just We can basically just follow this here road along to the Corvega plant. This I think this place was pretty peaceful. I've walked it before. So that's just a... Oh, a settler. By any chance, will you be willing to buy things from me, Doc Anderson? Are you a shop by any flipping chance? Could use some supplies, actually. Let's see what I can spare. Oh, lovely. So she's got 124 caps. Has she got anything good and I actually want? I might actually be willing to trade for drugs. Yeah, I might actually be willing to, um, to trade her for drugs because I'd rather have the drugs. And I've been carrying around all these guns I need to get rid of anyway because I'm never going to use them. And I've only been carrying them around so I can actually sell them down the line. In particular, the two miniguns I've picked up. I can obviously sell both of them for damn big money. Yep, trade away all my guns and get myself some Psycho and Jet back together with 17 caps. That seems like a decent deal for me. Lovely. So now I can pretty much just follow this road straight along. Ooh, hello, unless that's a... Uh, that's a trader! You're a trader. I don't need a trader anymore. I bloody hell. You wait, you wait parts for a trader and then all of a sudden there's bloody three at once. You say, I wish I traded with her now. We could be in the Sea Captain's Club together because we're both wearing Sea Captain's hats. I think we, I feel like me and her have got a connection already. In theory, I'd like to take some grenades and Molotov cocktails off her, but to be honest, at that price, it's just not worth it. Oh, I completely missed why I was having trouble navigating. It's because her place is full of cats. More blood. There's so many cats in Boston. It's amazing we never saw any in Washington, D.C. 
Okay, coming upon Corvega there. Pretty bloody difficult to miss. It's a big old beautiful building. I mean, the really spectacular thing about Blitz is if you see an enemy who's a melee enemy who's coming at you, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to get the first hit because you can just teleport to them and just smash them straight in the face. It's That is just amazing. Now, from this vantage point, we can probably figure out our best angle of approach. Question is, is there any way for us to get up to the top and then work down. Because it looks like there might be. If I were to start over here. And climb up there. Would there be any way for me to get up onto that ridge. And then work up. And avoid Lexington entirely. Because if there is. That could be worth doing. I know for a fact there's multiple entrances. But really I don't, wouldn't actually mind going in the front door. On this occasion. Because the front door I could stealth my way after. Oh. Hello what? Why am I in danger already? So Operation Stealth didn't work spectacularly well, to be honest. But I wonder if I can... This actually could be a good test, however, as to whether I can teleport my way over and up. Because if I can lure that guy over to the edge, can I blitz my way up top to him? Oh, wait, hang on. Look, look, look. No, zero. Zero. Come on. Can I blitz my way to him? No, you can't. That's a shame. Okay, well, in that case, we're just going to go down and see if we can lose and see if we can just kind of uh, lose track of them by heading around the front here. If we kind of hide around here, we might well be able to lose them. One of them's coming round, but it's probably going to get about to get knifed in their face. There we are. Big Jim. Straight in the back. He's dead. Ooh, Big Jim is a brutal old girl, isn't he? Uh, more of them's going to come, but they're just going to walk straight into death. In fact, as we're no longer safe, I may as well go over to... Oh, the bladed board. The bladed board is a thing of beauty. That's... Oh, that's a turret. Right, okay. That's the that's the raider over there. But the problem is he's got... A, there's a turret. So... Oh, it's <laughs> a big-ass weapon. Um, he's going to slowly make his way over to me. But that turret's going to be the dangerous bit. If I just hide around here for a sec, push him back into caution. He might actually run for dog meat. If he runs for dog meat, actually, you know what? Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Yep, there we are. Why is it zero? Come on. Zero. What? Come on. There we are. That's fine. A single hit should finish you off or come close. The bleeding damage would, if nothing else. I discovered Lexington. He's already dead. Bacon, he's already dead. You can stop hitting him. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back into, back into, back into the thing. Back into the thing. We're in danger for the minute, but that might just be the turret. Dog meat. You're going to want to be not standing right there, all right? Oh, flip. Someone's got Molotovs. Pop a quick stim pack. Get my health very slowly recovering. I'm pretty sure that this is not a camera. This is that, that, that that's a bad camera angle. That's, that's a bad camera angle, and we should all be ashamed of ourselves for enjoying that. Now, that's to caution. I could just completely charge the... Oh, hello. So there's more people up above. But if I stay sufficiently close to the wall, they'll never be able to find me. So if I just charge at that there turret, I could just whack it and take it out. Uh, yeah, and then potentially I could just sneak in the front door and completely ignore those guys up top. So what I've got to do is just go around the outside. Dog meat, you're kind of getting in the way of my beautiful plan here. Uh, my stealth should mean I can maintain, I should be at least be able to be a little bit hidden. In fact, I might even be able to... Can I sneak up on a bloody turret? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, it's seen me. It's seen me, but now I can just whack it. Yeah, whack it. Sadly, I'm pretty sure it's not taking bleeding damage. It does explode, however. Um, am I in danger at the moment? And does anyone have any way of actually doing anything about that danger? Yes, they do. Wait, is someone... No, it's someone up there. Right, go inside. Just head inside. We'll we'll sort out what the situation is inside. If there's somebody directly in front of me, I should just be able to blitz over to them inside the factory. But the front door's the one I actually want. Oh, danger. Is that danger still there? Are we fine? Dog meat, where are you? Dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat. Where's dog meat? Well, I thought you'd supposed to be following me, but alright. Now. Careful. Because I don't yet have... No, okay, good. The... Dog meat, I think he's just... Oh, whoa! Where'd you come from? You took me by surprise. I guess I'm just going to whack you with my bladed board in that case. There we go. Caution. 
We're all right. We're okay. He only had a he only had a, a switchblade, which if you haven't upgraded it, is actually like hard. Yeah, the upgrade for that is incredibly strong. And now we've just got to work our way through this facility. And I know the way to go. That's the thing. I don't know. Jumping at shadows. I tell you, what, I'm going to go back over to the knife. I feel like the knife, the quick knife, is the best way to do this. Although I'm not sure where the bloody hell the dog's gone. Oh, the dog's causing trouble somewhere. Dog! Is he... Has the dog just run ahead? I think the dog might have just run ahead there. I'm just going to stab her. I think I'm hidden. Yeah, that's a sneak attack because the dog's... The dog is drawing their fire. Oh, it, the dog's just made everyone angry, hasn't he? The dog... Where the hell is the dog? What the hell is going on? I think he might have gone the other way round. He might have somehow find his way to a different door. I don't even know how he did that, but he has. Oh, no. Oh, flip. Yeah, I'm try I'm, I don't want to go for that. Teleport out of that. No, dead. I feel like the dog messed that up for me. If the dog this time is in a better position, we might do all right. Where's the dog? Where are, where are you? Where is he? I'm hearing angry bark. But I don't know where the hell he's supposed to be. What the heck is going on? Oh, there we are. Stab that radar. Just... You might want to... There you go. That was a bloody useless stab there. Okay. We're back to hidden. Where is he? Where is my dog? The radar says, hmm. Nothing there now, says the radar. Which there might or might not be. We've no bloody clue. Oh, there's definitely something going on. I can hear the... Oh, yeah. The dog's somewhere. If I just go around stabbing these people before they... Yeah, there he is. There's another steak. Because... Can we teleport through that? We can. I think that's a gap in the wall we just teleported through. Dog. Are we all right? Where's the others? Where are the others? Dog. Dog, dog, just, just don't, no, dog me, stay, okay, stay, good boy, uh, now, we've got to figure out where the heck the rest of them are, I think there might be one just around that corner actually, if there is, I can't see him, let's just let ourselves go back into hidden first, the dog just stays here, now, I can't see anyone in that direction. We're back to hidden. The dog can just sit there like a good boy and not cause a ridiculous amount of trouble for me while I just quickly go around these here corpses. Okay. So that's that area, the starting area, cleared out there. The question is now, I just need to go around here, round the corner nearby are the stairs up. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to start some healing going at this point. I'm just going to get myself some healing going on here. I'm just going to quickly sneak around here and have a little look-see. Uh, wait a minute, that's not what I expected to see. Stairs going down? Somebody is shooting at something. I wasn't expecting to see stairs going down. If I misremember... Oh, no, no, there only, there's only a little bit going down. That's fine. So that's uh, getting worse. Nothing that way. Yeah. Two, oh, two of them around the corner. Two of them around the corner. Two of them around the corner. And... Just got to get... Oh, yes. Yes! Stabbed to death and... A couple more stabbed to death. Lovely. I thought I'd have got both of them there, but... Oh, uh oh we got more around the corner. More on the, I saw one around the corner there. I see where he's coming from. See where he's coming from. But if I back off in this direction, just head back around here. Up these here stairs. Don't think they'll be able to find me. This is the way ultimately I need to go anyway. This is the way that leads up to where the leader is. And all I need to kill is the leader. All the rest of them can be spared. There we go. Caution and descending. None of them are moving that fast, which normally means they don't know where I am and they're completely bloody lost. So this room's big and open, but it's got spotlights. And I can't really do anything about spotlights. I've got to be careful of that. What I can, however, do is terminal. Get that Protectron on side. I'm not sure if the Protectron levels up with, like, the rest of the enemies. Because the enemies are tougher, but does the Protectron count as an enemy? Or because it's a potential ally? 
Is it going to go down really fast? No clue. Let's find out. The Tektron steps out. We'll start shooting some folks. And we'll potentially, ideally, draw the attention of... Uh, we'll draw the attention of the spotlights. Which could be very, very useful. So he's shooting at someone. I think he's shooting actually at... I thought he... He just did it! He just killed Jared in like two shots! Well, this is fascinating. <laughs> he just went and flipping straight up murdered Jared. I think he's about to blow up the entire facility. Um, because he's just started a fire at those cars at the back. And sometimes they explode if they're on fire. That one Protectron is, is the greatest hero that's ever lived. And he's even doing it in the spotlight like he enjoys being the centre of attention. Like he's just doing this and he's just like putting on a show. The greatest show of all time. This is, this is magnificent. Okay, there's there's two, there are two turrets. I need to be careful because I don't know if he's going to take out the turrets. Because um, if he doesn't, then the turrets can still fire on me and they are pretty tough. Yeah, that much health a Molotov's not going to do very good again. I'd love to go and loot Jared's body. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to pull it off. Uh, if I just keep stuff between me and them, so they can't get a view of me. Oh, but I'll need to extend the bridge just to get over there. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. If it if it's clearly not possible, then we can just kind of give up on it. But we'll we'll give it a go. I mean, like the brackets seem pretty far off at the moment. I don't feel like I'm at imminent risk of being caught. Catch the thing, 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 and back down to... Yep, hidden location. Oh no, is he now firing on me? No! Why would you do that? Why would you... Go, 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 go! See if we can get Jared, see if we can get Jared, see if we can get Jared. Get in there, get Jared. Where is he? Where's Jared's corpse? Somewhere, somewhere in here. Uh, Jared is... Oh wait, hang on. Get, uh, yeah, go into, if you go into the uh, inventory management, it does pause time. Corvega safe key, I have no idea where that is. Stim pack and a Molotov. Is that even really worth it? Oh, there's a chest over here, though. Uh, oh, and again, uh, go into the, go into the transfer menu. And then that's pocketed Raider right Oh, pocketed. Pocketed might be good. Actually, no, I've got no problem with carry capacity. I don't even need that. Uh, where's the safe? Is there a safe in here? Oh, drugs. Uh, buff out and jet. Screw it. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we need to get out of here now. Now, 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 now. Where's the... Oh, flip. The Raiders have shown up. The Raiders have shown up. Go, 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 go. Oh, just. And when I say just, there's probably more Raiders outside, aren't there? There probably are. Actually, wait. There can't be because there's the chain door so they can't see me yet. So I can wait until I'm back into to caution before anything happens. Wait, I need to go... Oh, flipping heck. Right, you should not have come after me, you bastard. Are any more of them going to follow me? Whether or not people can use doors is uh, slightly variable. Uh, we won't bother taking the steel, though. Danger is fading. I'm just going to give myself a bit of a health top up. There we go. There we go. Oh, now life is good. Actually, that's a good point. If I just fast travel to Corvega, that should bring me to the front door. At which point I can run in, get the dog, and... Oh, no, enemy is too close by. Oh, enemy down there. Multiple enemies down there. If they both... If they walk away down that corner... Excellent. Follow them, 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 follow them. And... No, not close enough. Go, 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 go. Stab, 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 stab. Oh, tougher than we was expecting. And you... I can take a few shots at you. Your raid is scum, so you're the next level up. But you go down nice and quickly. They all died to those. I feel like I'm... There's going to be raiders up on the high ground. I can't deal with those. I just need to go. I just need to get out of here. Loot runner. When I say get out of here, I mean I physically can't... Oh, rum. Yeah, fine. Down to Lexington. Down to Lexington. Down and around. Oh, I know where I am now. This works out better. Down here, the enemies will lose track of me pretty quickly. I am going into ghoul territory, but uh, when I... Oh, I see someone still after me and someone still thinks they know where I am. When I go around this corner, they should lose me. And now back to where I was last time. These pipes. Down in front of the door. Nice and quiet. In and out. This way has already been cleared out because they've already cleared it out and the raiders do not redeploy. They can't. 
And then just go, 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 go for the door, go for the door, go for the door. Yep, just go in. There we go. I think it, oh, did they just yell, uh, time for payback boogeyman? They respond to the fact that you're trying to do sneaky stealthiness. They actually respond to that in some capacity. Oh, enemies, but enemies I'm guessing on different levels, not the enemies on the same level. They'll lose, these guys will lose me almost immediately. Yes, dog me. I think you might not be coming with me again. I feel like you're causing more trouble than you're flipping worth. I tell you what else dogged me, by the way. I think, actually, our best way out may well be to not go the way we came in. The best way may be to actually go out the way I just came through, i.e. straight back around the big room. And with a lot of the others dead, can we teleport out of here? Yes, we can. We can warp straight back to Ten Pines Bluff. Jared is dead. Honestly, I didn't really do it. A bloody hero robot who I then betrayed did it, so I am the true monster. Hello, I've saved you. Yes, they are all taken care of. I kicked their asses. Let's do it proper style. Let's do this bacon style. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. All right, and that there is that done. Let's nip back to uh, Preston Garvey. And before I forget about it again, the chemistry station, I can actually do some crafting now. Of particular interest, I can convert uh, my jet and psycho into psycho jet. I don't think there's any reason I'd ever want to use, like, jet or psycho individually. Psycho jet is a very, very good drug. So I'm just going to do that, and we'll transfer all that over. Lovely. And we can also just make some straight up jet too, in case we run out of psycho jet but still want to slow down time. And of course, there's the man of the hour there. But as we are familiar with, we need to maximize our level as efficiently as possible here. So that means we go to sleep. Our dalliance with Marcy has apparently seemingly sadly come to an end. And now, with the well rested perk, we go and have a chat with Preston. Because thanks to well rested, we'll get extra experience from the quest. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. So, there's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Honestly, I don't think I ri- No, I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not interested in your life story. Just hear me out. This is important. I said I no. Know. And with that, we've reached a new level as well. And I don't think there'd be any sense in taking anything other than an extra 20% damage up to 40% total bonus damage on the melee. I think it would be crazy to take anything but that. And also, we've just gained the ability to potentially uh, disarm opponents. Which will be very, very useful indeed when we go up against people with some big guns. And that brings Big Jim up to 47 damage, the bladed board up to 60, and my rather favourite serrated switchblade up to 35. Very nice indeed, I say. And now we've got bobby pins, we can finally unlock the safes dotted around. Psycho and stim pack, that's useful. And one final floor safe under the baby's crib. Lots of piles of pre-worn money, not so bad at all, used for converting to beds or just selling to traders. And one final bit of business, dog me. I'm very, very sorry, but it feels to me like you're kind of being more trouble than you're hey. worth. So, dog meat, dog meat, dog meat, stay. Over dog meat, here. stay over here. Look, just don't run away for once, all right? Yeah. We need to have a chat, dog meat. How you doing, bud? Might be best if we split up for a while, boy. And, yep, you are going to Sanctuary Hills. And there he is. He's already here. Beautiful. He'll probably go and hang out over there because there's a dog house. Or oh, there's another one like somewhere else. I just need to check the dog house if I want him again. But I'm sure he will be fine. Alright, there we go. We have got to... I think we're getting to grips with it. We are getting to grips with the combat now. We understand how this character works. Stealth. Assassination. Teleporting behind people and knifing them straight in the back. Which if I do say so myself is... Pretty darn cool. I quite like that. It's a uh, it's a nice change of pace from the snipe. Oh, this is such a ridiculous weapon. Look at this bastard. Look at it go. And then you. Just... Oh, I want to tear someone's head off like that. That would be great fun. This is that's a ridiculous weapon. Let's go back to Big Jim. That's that's just a wrench with a big sticky picky bit on the front. That's absolutely fine. All right. Yes. Next time, ladies and gentlemen. Next time. We're heading into Boston itself. We're heading straight there. No more delays. We'll make it to Diamond City. We'll have a little looksy round. There's a couple of bits of kit I think we could do with picking up there. And actually, I think we'll explore some of the wider area of Boston too. Because I've got my eye on a few bits of kit 
that I think could be very, very useful for me to pick up some armor and some equipment. So by the end of the next part, we will have better equipment, better armor, better weapons, better the whole lot. And I think we will be much better off for that. So that's... Has that dog got a tire iron sticking out of it? Interesting. I possibly should have picked up that tire iron. No, no, I must have completely walked past that earlier when actually at the time it would have been the best weapon I had. Oh, well, never mind. Yes, next time into Boston, to Diamond City and beyond. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. It's been Fallout 4, no guns. Thank you very much and goodbye. Has he got nipple tassels on? There is nothing less intimidating than a fat bloke with nipple tassels. I wouldn't kill him. We're standing on top of a pool of oil and he's holding a torch. I'm fighting the same guy three times at the moment. It is actually the same bloke. It's cocking Scotland, not the waste beyond the wall. This isn't Game of Thrones, it's just Britain.